Hey, we got a house referred to uh, the other day that uh, is a real estate agent who had been like, hey, got this house, think you guys might be interested. It could use a little work. And she felt like the CMA value on it was about 310,000. And after looking at it, I, I agreed. I mean, it needed needed some work cleaned up, uh, dated, not, I mean, nothing crazy. It could have been a rental. Uh, but just as far as like trying to get top dollar out of it, the, and the sellers just didn't want to do that. And, but they were really wanting to get a new house and they didn't want to have to like deal with the contingency of, Hey, we're putting our offer in contingent upon us selling our house. Like, how can we get out of that? And so we put together this plan for them that the house was worth like 310 they owed about 210 on it. It was a 15 year note, two and a half percent, which was super cool. And their payment there was about 1400. Taxes and insurance was another 188. So their total payment was about 1588. So we agreed to do a rent to own with the option to purchase within the next year and give them a hundred thousand dollars down. So they got the difference right there. So their 310 that the house was worth. 210 that they owed, gave them that 110. Then also did a rental agreement for up to a year or $2,200 a month, which uh, most of the mortgage companies will let you count 75% of your rental income towards your mortgage payment. 75% of 2,200 is more than 1588. So they didn't have to worry about their mortgage payment being part of the, uh, being a debt to income ratio issue for them I'm qualifying for their next loan. Then in four months, so, so now they can go out, look for a house, don't have to worry about selling theirs in order to buy something else. They're getting the equity they need. They've got their debt uh, to income ratio taken care of. And in about four months or five, three, whatever they need to get stable in their new situation, we will convert this rent to own. We'll exercise the option and turn it into a seller financing arrangement that the payment terms will mirror the existing mortgage. So when that happens, our payment will go from down from 2200 down to 1588. So then we'll have three years at that rate to go out and refinance the house in three years or sell it or whatever the case may be to pay off the remaining balance that we'll owe them, which it'll be 210 minus three years worth of payments in this scenario. So anyway, super slick way for them to be able to get out of their house, move on to something else, not have to worry about the seller's contingency or the, yeah, selling my house contingency on their offer that they're making. And so anyway, if you know somebody that that might be useful for like to talk to him and see if we can make something happen but and i mean it's not a great fit for everybody but it worked out good for these guys so thanks so much to jessica for telling us about him and have a good one